how to make yourself great in the acting industry and in your life. How do you do that? It's not the how, it's the who. Who are you associating with? Because it's the who that connects you with what you do that determines when and where. But first, you must realize your why. What am I talking about? Stay tuned. So let me ask you, first of all, who are you? I'm not talking about your name. I'm not talking about the career that you have in acting or in your lifetime or the degrees that you hold. I'm talking about who you are. Because who you are depends heavily on what you do because what you do becomes who you are. For example, if you drink yourself into an early coma, you are an alcoholic. That's who you are. That's who you become because what you do equals who you are. If you take excellent care of your body, you become an athlete. That's who you are. It's who you become. Everything that we do in life every day, habitually or consciously, becomes who we are. So, who are you? But hold on now because I have another question for you before you answer who you are. When do you do what you do? When? When is time? And time is the only thing, is the only precious commodity that we have on this planet that cannot be replaced ever. So when do you do what you do? When do you do what you do? For example, I have some students out there that consistently every day practice their acting techniques. They reach out for auditions and they consistently do something every single day to improve on their physical health, their mental health, their spiritual well-being, their emotional stability, and which in turn includes their financial well-being, which is all connected together. So when was the last time you did what to become who? Let me say that again. When was the last time you did what you did to become who you are today? Now, this means kind of looking in the mirror and being honest with yourself. Now, here's another very important question that shows you, that will, that will reveal to you, honestly, who you associate with becomes who you are. Where did you do what you did when you did it? Where did you do, where were you when you did what you did that influenced you to become who you are today? Because I tell you what, time is, and I have to say this again because it's very important, because the time you spend where you are and what you do and when you do it becomes who you are. Now, I've led you to the edge of a cliff, but let me give you some solid examples that will tie all these W's together. If you hang around people that are living in poverty or have negative connotations all the time coming out of their mouth, guess what? You will develop that habit because who you are is, is all about who you associate with. And you'll end up doing what they do, where they go, where they go. And when you do things with them, you will become like them. On the flip side, if you hang around and connect with wealthy people, wealthy-minded people, healthy people, people that have hope every day, that are strong and, and full of faith instead of fear, they can't take my freedom, then you too will become like them because you will be where they are and when you do things with them, which goes back to what you do, will become who you are. By the way, this applies to characters too because characters are just like us because they're written by human beings. So the more you understand who, the what, the where, the when, and the why, which I'll get to in a minute, the better actor, the better person, the healthier, more positive human being you will become, but you have to select who you want to be around in order to become great. Now, the biggest, most important W in all of these W's is why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Because, because the bigger and more significant your why, the easier it will be to pick out who you associate with, what you do, when you do it, where you do it. Make sense? So, make a list today. I give you an assignment today. Make a list today of who those people are. The first five people. Write down the five people that you hang around the most, that you associate the most with, that you spend the most time with, because time can't be replaced. Write those people down. And then underneath each name, write down whether they're positive most of the time or negative most of the time, and about what are they doing that is causing you to be more positive or more negative. Yeah, I know, this is gonna take some, this is gonna take integrity and bravery. Don't let them take your freedom. If you wanna be something great, someone great, hang around those people and associate with those, only those people that give you power. If you need a coach, I may be the one for you, davidthompsoncoaching.co, davidthompsoncoaching.co. Write to me, 
Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, be careful who you associate with because you will become just like them.